terrible news for everyone because Hurricane Milton has managed to intensify into a category 5 major hurricane and still intensifying extremely fast so of course it is an extremely dangerous situation for the Yucatan Peninsula especially in the city of Merida in Yucatan and of course by, for Florida because the storm is expected to make landfall as a major hurricane at least a category 4 storm in one in many populated cities in the central Florida including St. Petersburg, uh, Tampa and Orlando unfortunately. As you can see the structure of the storm says it all it's looking extremely healthy very powerful and unfortunately it is just the beginning of a very uh, dark night a uh, nightmare for uh, the people in the in the Yucatan Peninsula unfortunately position at 21.8 degrees north 91.8 degrees west still moving to the east southeast as, as it looks on the satellite presentation but we are expecting that the storm will start to move to the east and then to the northeast pretty soon possibly by the next 12 to 24 hours but so far so looking an extremely powerful storm with a category 5 storm winds of 160 miles per hour sustained 925 millibars moving to the east southeast at 10 miles per hour according to the recent update by the national hurricane center and as you can see on the track forecast we are expecting category 5 status by the next 24 to 36 hours could be more and uh, there's a lot of hurricane warnings and watches including tropical storm warnings and watches in effect uh, by the hurricane warnings are from Yucatan uh, including Celestun to Rio Lagartos a hurricane watch in effect for Rio Lagartos to Cabo Catoche in Mexico and Chocolowski to Sowany River in Florida also a tropical storm warning in effect for Rio Lagartos to Cancun in Mexico and Tropical Storm Watch in effect for Flamingo to Chokoloski, Sowany River to Indian Pass and the Florida Keys as well. And the storm is expected to still intensify and could be one of the strongest storms ever in the Atlantic Ocean if this trend continues and I don't think it is an overstatement and I think nobody uh, thinks so as well and the wind shear chart or well the graphic as you can see uh, the storm is located uh, under practically moderate to low levels of wind shear expected to increase by the next 36 hours as the storm progresses to the northeast but still uh, practically the, the wind shear has been non-existent uh, on Milton's location and that's why it has managed to intensify extremely fast during the uh, during the last hours or well during the night of uh, of this day and it's expected that this trend will continue at least for the next 24 hours before possibly an eyeball replacement cycle could occur as the storm has a pinhole eye and it's very prone to have one but of course this means are terrible news because the storm will increase its wind field and will intensify again since the wind shear is it's quite low and the sea surface temperatures are extremely warm as well 29 celsius overall so the storm has everything to, uh, to intensify and to become an extremely powerful storm as well uh, even more powerful even more powerful than it is excuse me and the Atlantic Ocean overall is pretty active and more activity is expected on the next days as we are seeing that possibly another system could form nearby the Bahamas east of Milton Hurricane Leslie hanging in there but of course weakening gradually and another system trying to develop in the Cape Verde Island as we are watching Milton making landfall in Florida quite intense and of course uh, Hurricane Kirk as an extratropical cyclone uh, making landfall possibly in Spain and uh, also affecting France, Germany, Belgium, Denmark and many other uh, countries unfortunately it's a very powerful extratropical storm or extratropical cyclone and the wind, sh uh, the wind shear as you can see sorry this is a wind speed graphic excuse me and uh, you can see the, uh, the models projection and one of the models is projecting 160 knots of intensity that means at least 185 miles per hour sustained wind uh, major hurricane which is 
uh, tied as the second strongest ever in the Atlantic Ocean measured by winds so of course Milton is already making history and could be one of the strongest storms ever in the Atlantic if this trend continues now moving on the wind shear uh, it's remaining quite moderate to low at least by the next 12 to 24 hours the wind shear will remain quite moderate to low and then sharply increasing by the next uh, 36 hours when the storm is expected to weakening a little bit but also this thing could change uh, this thing could uh, could change and of course we cannot really be sure if actually that wind shear levels are going to increase that much uh, when this, uh, as the storm progresses since it has been extremely powerful and still is expected to remain quite powerful until it makes landfall in Florida unfortunately. This is surface temperatures 29 celsius and the humidity uh, overall not really high but of course uh, Milton has been extremely powerful and there's no dry air uh, intrusion yet on the on the storm so of course we are not expecting that dry air intrusion at least by for the next 24 hours we are going to to see what happens later of course but of course uh, but of course <laughs> uh, the storm still it's expected to remain an extremely powerful category 5 storm at least by the next 24 to 36 hours and the structure of the storm says it all it's an extremely powerful storm looking good the eye is not really cleared yet so a potential eye wall replacement cycle could occur since it's a pinhole eye and these kind of storms are very prone to have or to undergo an eye wall replacement cycle that means the wind field and the, and the storm structure itself will get uh, more bigger than it is and further intensification could occur after it happens so of course this is just the beginning uh, the beginning of a terrible nightmare for the Yucatan Peninsula for Merida because it is a city that it's not really well prepared for any kind of uh, these uh, cyclonic systems or this kind of natural disasters or natural phenomena so this is going to be a really dangerous situation and for Florida as well that they just need a break for any kind of this kind of these storms of this kind they have seen many storms in the in the recent years major hurricanes and Milton could be uh, another major hurricane striking Florida and 2024 could be the the, the first season since 2005 that that makes Florida having two major hurricanes on the same season. So please take care, please stay tuned and prepared with, ma with many more updates that we are going to upload here, uh, here in our YouTube channel and many more social media that we have for you. So please uh, keep, uh, keep a very close eye with this storm because this is history in the making again. Become an ultimate fan today.